The story is getting a lot of people talking. A New Mexico man thought he won big bucks on a lottery scratcher, only to find out it was a misprint. Lauren Hanser talked to the Roswell man about his dreams of winning big and dashed. In December, John Wines bought a scratch-off lottery ticket at the Shell gas station in Roswell. The winning numbers were one and two. As John started scratching, he came across not one, two, three, or four, but five winning numbers, totaling over $500,000. If you look closely, you can see part of a number that's supposed to be next to the ones, but it's very faint and you can't tell what it is. There's a one right here for $250,000. Right below that is another one, and it's a $250,000 winner. Even though the maximum prize for the ticket is $250,000. You can see down below is another one for 75, a two for 500, and another two for 50. John says he hit the big one. But he says when he went to the gas station to get his money, it didn't work. I took it back in and she told me that is not a winner. And he told me that uh, it was a misprint and they don't pay off for misprints. John says he contacted the New Mexico Lottery, who contacted him in an email saying, we did find a flaw in that particular pack of tickets, and it's been reported to our printer. Thanks for bringing this to our attention. I did a complete reconstruction of your ticket, and it was not a winner. John begs to differ. I mean, if you thought you won $500,000, and somebody tells you you didn't, and you can prove to it that you did, it's pretty stressful for somebody to say, no, you're not getting your money. John says he just retired, and $500,000 would be nice. If it was $50 or $75, I would not think a thing about it. But this is $500,000. That's a half a million. The New Mexico Lottery did offer him $100 in lottery tickets. It's like I told him, I didn't misprint it. I bought the ticket in good faith, thinking that if I won, I was going to get my money. And they told me no. They absolutely positively told me no. In Roswell, Lauren Hansard, KOBI Witness News 4.